Click the link in the description below to sign up on Raise Your Edge today. What's up guys, Jeff Boski here. This is your chance of a lifetime to buy a no gamble hat today. Order one on the Big Frog store in the link in the description below. Or you can pick one up at the Big Frog store just outside of Las Vegas when you come visit in June. If I happen to see you wearing a no gamble hat at the Rio, Wynn, or Venetian in June, I'll give you a five second clip in an upcoming vlog. That's right, wear the hat, locate me, get in the vlog. Your five seconds of fame is one no gamble hat away. Buy one today. The win, $225 rebuy. You know it's Saturday, it's about 1 p.m. Late Reg, gonna get a good table draw, hopefully. About to walk by the Encore Beach Club where all the honeys are waiting in line to buy some $20 cocktails and the guys are about to pay $100 to be admitted to such a glorious, glorious festival of debauchery, music, sun, and water, only at the Encore. We're here at the Win Saturday 225, and I ran into this guy repping the bag and tag apparel all the way from Portland, Oregon. What's your name? Representing Sergio. Sergio, thanks for coming out. What do you think of the Win? Oh, it's awesome. I'm, I'm such a great venue. Great tables, great everything. Experience been awesome. Excellent. 10,000 starting stack. We've been here for an hour, and I've played one hand. That's right, one hand. I flopped a flush draw and missed, so we now have 8,000 chips. Going to 150, 300, last 40 minutes of the rebuy period. The blinds at 150, 300, 20 minutes before a rebuy period is over. We've been very tight, so it's time to open it up. We look down at the 6-9 suited, shout out to the mans. Raise it up to 700 in middle position off of a 6500 stack. The button calls and the big blind calls. The flop comes 10, 9, 3, two diamonds. Checks to us, we bet 1500. Button folds, big blind, calls. We have 4500 behind. The turn is a beautiful eight of diamonds, completing a lot of two pair straight combos. He checks, we jam, and he somehow folds. With blinds at 200, 400, we have 20,000 chips in middle position with pocket queens. Raised up to 1,000, action folds to the big blind, who's a middle-aged woman with a wedding ring and a Louis Vuitton purse on her lap. She snap makes it 3,000 off a 50K stack. Normally, I'm just trying to four bet get it in with pocket queens when I have 50 blinds. But I think we can just call and play some flops in position. So I show some discipline with pocket queens and put in the call. The flop comes ace, king, jack. So we got a pair and a Broadway draw. She fires 6,000 chips and we fold. What would you guys do there? 4 bet to 7k, call a shove? 4 bet to 7k, fold? Jam 20k? Let me know in the chat how to play pocket queens versus a woman in the big blind. Louis Vuitton, represent. With blinds at 300, 600, action folds to the cutoff who puts in the limp off of a 20k stack. Small blind folds, we're in the big blind with four or five of spades. Could raise it up, but we, we're gonna keep it close to the vest today. Small ball is the name of the game. The flop comes, jack eight, four with the jack eight of spades. We check call 1300. 
The turn is this offsuit six, giving us bottom pair, a bad flush draw, and a bad straight draw. We check, he bets 5,000. If I shove, it's gonna be 8,000 more to him, so I don't have any perceived fold equity. What are my odds versus a naked jack in this spot? Not too sure. What's up, Joe? Hey. It's Joe. So, with bad pair, bad straight draw, and a bad flush draw, we make a disciplined lay down, ask him to show the bluff, and he shows a jack. Gonna have to run the numbers on that one, but I think it's a correct fold. Well, I heard you cry loud. All the way across town. With blinds at 300, 600, we open pocket tens in middle position to 1300. We have about 15,000 now. Button calls, same woman in the big blind calls. She says something about me always raising her big blind. Probably just a coincidence, I'm playing very tight today. Flop comes queen, eight, eight, two diamonds. She checks, I bet 1,400. Button folds and she check raises to 3,000. What's she repping here, an eight, a queen? For that price, our dignity will not allow us to fold, so we put in the call in position. The turn is a six and she quickly checks. It seems to me that she's giving up, possibly as a flush draw, maybe ace high. Not too much logic behind her bets as I've noticed so far. So we check back to get to cheap showdown. The river's a king and she quickly bets 5,000. I don't think she'd bet a queen and I think she'd continue to barrel an eight. The only King X hands she could possibly be betting for value is King X of diamonds. Not a common spot where I make the call, but I throw in the 5K, it's not for my tournament life, and she quickly mucks and says, nice hand. I don't have to show the tens, although I might get some uh, street cred or table cred for the accurate hero call this time. With blinds at 800, 1600. Run at the gun plus two with the pocket jacks. 40,000 shifts, we open to 3,500. Middle position, guy who's been playing pretty crazy, shoves all in for 20,000. Everyone folds and we call. He shows pocket deuces. Flop comes three, four, 10, all diamonds. Turn is a five of clubs, giving him outs. And the river is an ace of diamonds. We hit a flush and knock out a player. We have 60,000 now on dinner break. With blinds at 1,000, 2,000. Under the gun, crazy Asian with 200K. Min raises to 4,000. We're under the gun plus one with pocket tens. We have 70,000. We could flat, we could three bet. Too much to jam, but if we three bet, are we three bet calling his jam? What's the plan? I think based on these positions, the best play is to call. We put in the 4,000, the small blind and the big blind come along. The flop comes king nine eight with two spades. Checks to the crazy agent under the gun who bets 4,000. With second pair, we're going to put in the call in position and see what happens. Small blind folds, big blind calls with three ways to a turn. The turn is a five of clubs. Both players check to us. Looks like our pocket tens are good, so it's time to bet for value. 12,000 is the amount. Hoping to get calls from flush draws, straight draws, 9x type hands. Big blind goes in the tank and folds. Crazy Asian UTG asks to see my stack and shoves all in. 
I fold and he shows pocket aces. All right, could have lost a lot more there. So upside, you've been thinking about ditching me. With blinds at 1,000, 2,000. Player in the cutoff raises to 5,500. He just lost a 80K pot, so he's very tilted. He started the hand with 47,000. We have 46,000, and we have ace queen off in the big blind. Definitely could jam here, 24 blinds, but I think it's more likely we can three bet induce or three bet and just get him to call with some random shit because that's how he likes to play. So we make it 17,000. He puts in the call. Oh, we're playing some street poker here. Let's hit a flop. The flop comes. Ace, six, four with two spades. I think we could bet uh, about one third of our stack or jam. Either play is reasonable. I think a jam works better because he's never gonna fold an ace or a flush draw. Maybe even a weird straight draw. So we shove all in and he snap calls. Does he have aces? No, he has four six of diamonds for bottom two pair. The turn is a three. And the river is a jack. And we are out of the win. 225 rebuy. Total loss of 325 on the day. You won't believe this, but before I even came to the win, I had a premonition that this exact local reg would bust me out of the tournament. And it happened. Don't know what to say about that other than it's pretty freaky and even more tilting that it did happen. What I could have done to avoid this? Yeah, I guess you can look at results and say, Jam pre bro, and he folds the 4-6. Well, he should fold the 4-6 to the 3-bet to begin with. Or in the long run, I should uh, get him to commit with middle pair, bottom pair, straight draw versus my top pair, whatever. So, don't be results oriented. I think we played great today. Unfortunately, we walk away empty handed. Make sure you hit the subscribe and like buttons. Tell a friend. I'll see you guys next time.